In this video, we'll balance the equation for FeS2 plus O2, iron 2 sulfide plus oxygen gas. Let's count the atoms up. One iron, two sulfurs, two oxygens. On the product side, we have the two irons, one sulfur, three oxygens, plus we have these two oxygens. So we have five total oxygens on the product side of the equation. When I have something like a five here, I want to get that to an even number. That'll make it easier to balance the oxygens on this side. To do that, if I put a two in front of the iron three oxide here, I'd have two times two for the irons, and then let's update the oxygens. So I have the three times the two, six oxygens plus two oxygens. Now I have eight oxygens, so I can fix that. But I'm gonna wait till later because oxygens by itself. So no matter what I get, as long as it's an even number, it's easy to fix. Let's get our irons straight here. We have four on this side and one here. So we'll just put a coefficient of four. So one times four, the irons are balanced. And then the two times the four, that gives us eight sulfurs. Let's fix the sulfurs. Put an eight in front of the SO2. One times eight, that'll give us eight sulfurs. Those are balanced. And then let's update our oxygens. We have three times two, six plus two times eight, 16. So we have 22 total oxygens. And because we've left this oxygen till last, it's by itself. I know that two times 11, that'll give me 22. So I'll just put a coefficient of 11 and we're done. This equation is balanced. So the strategy here really was to get an even number of oxygens. And then since oxygen was alone, just wait until the end to finally balance it. Things just seem to work out. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for FES2 plus O2. Thanks for watching.